In this screencast, we'll uh, uh, discuss touch driving drawings and uh, bitmaps on uh, uh, a canvas. So we'll start with um, uh, the demos of uh, two applications uh, that we will uh, discuss um, in this screencast. Uh, so this, the first application is a simple tic-tac-toe-like um, application that allows us to touch drive uh, drawings on the canvas and um, uh, place them in different uh, parts of the canvas, so on the board, but it doesn't have to be on the board, and we can place them anywhere. And in the second demo, uh, which is a generalization of uh, uh, the first demo, uh, except that uh, uh, it deals with bitmaps, uh, so this implements a simple uh, game, uh, six uh, chess pieces, uh, three black and uh, three white, uh, knight, bishop, and king, and our objective is to drag the, uh, each of the black pieces down in the lower part of the uh, board uh, so that it uh, doesn't uh, uh, get captured. So each piece as we drag it doesn't get captured. So here's a, a white knight captures, jumps on um, the black knight. Uh, so and we can uh, click on the options menu and restore uh, the pieces to their original position and try a different uh, path. Uh, okay, and then so again get get uh, we got captured again. So let's try the middle class. Um, and uh, this time uh, we uh, will be successful. So as so long as we can uh, touch drive or just click and drag uh, each of the black pieces uh, down there, uh, so like as shown in this um, uh, piece, right, in this uh, uh, um, snapshot, uh, it doesn't really matter the order of each piece. So it can be a knight, uh, and then a bishop, and then king, or king, knight, bishop. Um, so, so long as each of the three uh, bitmaps uh, are dragged. So let's do some object-oriented modeling uh, in the first application. Um, so it's a very familiar uh, to um, uh, anybody who has done some work in uh, graphics and uh, computational geometry. So we have shape, circle, and cross. Uh, so three classes. And then we have the custom view, which is a tic-tac-toe. And this is the main view of our um, application. Uh, the main view of our uh, 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 activity, main activity. And then there's another class, which is a, a board geometry. Uh, as usual, uh, I will provide the links to the source code, both of the both projects, and so you can take a look at it and let me know uh, if there are any bugs. Um, so and then there's another class, board geometry, which we will not discuss. It just simply implements the board geometry. Uh, as its name suggests. And then, uh, so there's, for this application, there's only one uh, class, a chess piece, and it has a bitmap uh, member variable. I took the bitmaps from the a, a wiki entry on the Unicode uh, chess symbols and just downsized each bitmap uh, uh, to uh, be 40 by 40. Okay, and then uh, as in the previous application, there is another class uh, which is a view, and this view is called uh, touch image uh, image uh, uh, sketcher, and that's the main view of the uh, main activity. Okay, so let's talk about uh, capture and consumption of uh, motion events. So on Android, uh, motion events are generated by uh, user touches. All right, so let's say that if we have um, a screen, touch screen, two-dimensional, zero, zero is the top left, um, so same as in computer graphics. And let's say that we have a uh, drawing, or it can be a bitmap, um, you know, with some reference, x and y. So this is a circle, let's say that we have the center of the circle captured uh, by um, xc, and that's the current, uh, and yc, that, these are the current coordinates of the center of the circle. And um, um, let's say that we have a touch event, so somebody uh, touched uh, screen over here, so here mouse click or um, uh, finger so and uh, uh, we've captured the action down that's one of the action values of the motion event is action down so let's call it this is the X uh, D and Y D the X and Y coordinates of the action down event and now we're just gonna go and drag it right and then um, uh, over here right either finger or, or our mouse so, uh, and this is, we've captured uh, action up, or action move, uh, for that matter. 
So uh, we're done with uh, the move or, or the segment of the move. All right. And so we need to, uh, since we're touch driving the uh, circle, we need to drag it uh, closer to the mm, coordinates of x up and y up. Right. Well, as close as we can. So there will inevitably be some f movement flicker. Uh, so this is the offset, mm, xd, and the coordinate of the x coordinate of the uh, new center. Uh, so uh, let's call it x prime. Uh, is going to be xc. Mm, right, okay, then plus mm, x up minus the offset minus x um, sub d. Right. It's one one of the possible formulas. So it's roughly speaking. So this is x c plus x up, and if we subtract the offset, we may end up somewhere over here. But but closer, hopefully closer to the mm, uh, x up and y up, and the y prime will be computed uh, similarly. Okay, let's take a look at the source code bits. And again, the links, uh, the source code, uh, the source code uh, are in the mm, description uh, of this screencast. So this is the XML of the mm, uh, tic tac toe. Uh, touch drive, touch drawing, touch drive drawing uh, project. Uh, so this is a custom view and we define uh, a whole bunch of paints. Uh, so uh, the green for the blackboard uh, background, uh, a canvas background and then um, various paints for the uh, foreground um, figure, circles, crosses and uh, so forth. And uh, this is the constructor uh, where we initialize everything, including the board geometry um, th that allows us to draw the geometry. And then we create the circles as array lists uh, and crosses as array list, uh, another array list of objects. Um, and uh, this is the drawing. Uh, so we draw the um, uh, canvas, the, the background as a rectangle, and then we draw the board on that um, canvas, uh, circles and crosses, and then invalidate. So we keep updating the canvas, uh, forces, uh, um, uh, forcing it to redraw itself. And this is how we handle on touch event. We find the closest uh, uh, circle given the x and y coordinates of the touch event and closest, uh, meaning, okay, whose center is closest uh, in the Euclidean sense uh, to the x and y coordinates of the uh, uh, motion event. And the same way we find the closest cross, uh, right, closest to the x and y coordinates of the touch event. Uh, and uh, uh, finally, we decide, okay, which is closer, the circle or the cross. And uh, so we have the closest uh, circle, the closest cross, and if it is, uh, the uh, circle that get uh, ends up being closest, then we handle a uh, touch event on the circle. Um, right. And how do we handle the touch event on the circle? Well, this is where we essentially implement our uh, simple geometry of uh, 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 touch event, uh, motion event consumption. So when the action is down, we uh, set the action down piece uh, xd. Mm, to the current uh, x uh, coordinate, uh, x and y coordinates. So this is our x c and uh, uh, and x uh, and y c. Right, get current c. Right. Um, okay, and then uh, the um, offset uh, ends up um, being the x and y coordinates of the motion event. Right. So this is the action down, right? Because that's the value, the action value of the captured motion event. And uh, if it is the motion event has the value of uh, the action of the motion event has the value of the action move or action up, then we compute uh, the uh, recompute the um, uh, current x and y coordinates according to the formula that we've discussed. So we get the uh, action down x. Mm, um, then add uh, the x of the motion event and uh, subtract the uh, uh, subtract the offset uh, of the uh, of the circle. So uh, that's um, uh, and and we and we do the same thing for the uh, for the y, right? So that's the formula, which is uh, x c plus. Uh, uh, x um, uh, up uh, or x move minus uh, mm, x uh, down. 
right? Oh, the the offset. So and hopefully, oh, well, that gives us closer, uh, puts us closer to the uh, coordinate of the mm, uh, uh, motion event, uh, whose action is move or uh, up. Okay. So um, and now let's talk about this is the second application. This is the chess piece, as you can see. There's a bitmap. Um, member variable it's a real bitmap this is where we uh, initialize it all of the bitmaps are stored in the uh, uh, resource directory uh, resource drawable uh, so this is how we draw um, I use some constants over here just to make sure that uh, the pieces do not jump off uh, the canvas uh, well they can be these constants float point constants can be uh, adjusted and this is where uh, the bitmap uh, gets drawn. Uh, M current X and M current I is the co are the coordinates of the top left um, uh, corner of the of the bitmap, and this is how we handle the motion event. Uh, if the motion event uh, is uh, within less than or equal to the uh, M Euclid disk threshold, uh, so it's close enough to at least one of the corners, then uh, this is the bitmap that gets to absorb uh, that event. Otherwise, uh, we just simply return. And the logic of uh, absorbing the motion event is similar. So we already discussed uh, uh, discussed this, except that architecturally, this application uh, allows each object, each chess piece, to handle um, its own motion events. Unlike uh, the previous application, where there is only one view controller that essentially handles all of the touch events and redraws the object. So uh, in this application. Mm, each chess piece uh, receives a canvas and receives the x and y coordinates of the motion event and then handles it uh, on its own. So, um, okay, so this is our custom view. Um, we have an array list of chess pieces. This is how they get initialized from the resource drawable directory. Mm. And uh, so we have an array. So we have an array of chess pieces, and we also have uh, member variables that uh, reference each chess piece uh, object individually. Oh, we didn't have to do it. Uh, maybe for the purposes of uh, a real chess game, just uh, uh, an array list of uh, chess pieces uh, should be sufficient. And uh, so this is our draw method. We delegate all of the. Uh, uh, we, we essentially call the draw method in each of the chess piece. And the same thing with on touch event. We send the motion event to each uh, chess piece and allow it to handle it. 